it's Thursday, and that means it's live stream day. I'm Rosie, and these are my handbands. And the way it works is if you're watching on YouTube, give me a word or a comment that I can turn into music, and I will play it on the handband. So everything is improvised, and I'm going to say handpan again. Handpan. <laughs> Hope you're all having a fabulous week. Say hello, let me know where you're watching from or what's going on. And uh, yeah, let's crack on. This is such a nice one. Lovely flat gnocchi. So making gnocchi with your friends. Hi. Um, that is a joyful, joyful thing. Or well, not making it. I know people make it. Obviously, we're just like opening the box and putting it in. Has anyone made their own gnocchi? How do you do that? I don't know. Let me know. Um, but this is all about sharing nice meals with your nice pals. If you're just joining, head over to YouTube and put a word or a comment into the box and I will turn it into music for you. So yeah, this is about making lovely gnocchi. flat gnocchi no it's not flat like this way it's love we're gonna eat it in our flat that's why it's that's that's why it's flat <laughs> hello to everyone just joining it's so nice to hear from you all see you all do like the video it really helps and send it to your mate maybe you know someone who wants some improvised live stream on a thursday so invite them too uh and if there's anyone who you think should be here you know how to do that um so we had we had a really good sandwich today uh and it was egg no it was tofu scramble but it was so good it was like it tasted just like egg i mean i know that's maybe a rude thing to say to a vegan but it did it had all the joyfulness of egg so tofu i don't know what good things what other things tofu can pretend to be i mean i guess like meat but yeah so this is about tofu pretending to be other things specifically pretending to be like an egg mayonnaise let me know your favorite types of tofu in the comments no i'm, I'm just kidding 
Um, Alison, I feel like you're going to have some opinions on tofu. Uh, so tofu pretending to be other things, specifically egg mayonnaise. That's not E major. That's E flat Dorian. <laughs> all about sneaky tofu pretending to be other things sneaky sneaky tofu <laughs> apparently tofu can be anything and Alison is a professional chef so she should know and hi Steph, Jack and Ali hope the beach is awesome um, in fact I'm going to play this, why not tune about being at the beach and having an awesome time which I assume yeah. Which beach? Um. All right, enjoying the beach. Hope it's warm and sunny. Thank you. 
hope your beach trip sounds like that nice and chilled and cheerful hello Steph <laughs> oh and also great it's so nice to see people popping in hi Mandy if you're still here I'd love if you would be able to share um how you're feeling as opposed to how you're feeling last week because I think that everyone here deserves to know but it's also up to you um but yeah glad glad to see joyful cheerful people <laughs> Not that you have to be cheerful. Uh, just joyful, joyful, lovely people. Hello. And as is traditional in um, in the Thursday live streams, we completely shift gear into <laughs> a pin-up girl riding a shark. Now, I don't even, I can't even imagine where a person would hold on to ride a shark. Like, there's no, I guess the dorsal fin. I mean, it doesn't feel like there's obvious handles on a shark. You just have to sort of, like, grip and hope. Um, but I think it'll be quite an adrenaline, exciting, like g -g 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 kind of an adventure. What's the who's the guy that was saved by dolphins in some kind of Greek mythology? Don't know. Unclear. If you know, tell me. Jonah was eaten by a whale. Anyway, that's 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 enough aquatic life. Jonah was Jonah was eaten by a whale. Some guy was rescued by dolphins, but this is about a pinup girl riding a shark. <laughs> Thank you. 
Adventure shark. <laughs> that was that was fun. Also, so I I have been not doing sport recently, which is a fun choice, fun life choice. And I went back to kung fu on Tuesday, and oh my god, my arms, my legs, my back. This is why I I'm, I refuse to ever do sport again. Uh, it's bad for you. It was really fun though. I learned a new kick and then I came home and showed Becca and she said it looked really easy, but it wasn't. <laughs> okay, amazing. Exoplanet, a planet beyond our solar system. That's exciting. So they look small, but they are bigger on the inside. <laughs> so I think is it any planet that's outside of the solar system is called an exoplanet. So I think I get really excited when I think about how many small, like we know that there's all these big things out in the world, but it's so dizzying to think of all these little tiny little fragments of worlds and, and exciting tiny small things. Almost smaller than the eye can see. And maybe they've got life on them. We don't know. <laughs>
Emperor all about exoplanets. These little like you know, these little like sparkly planets and their whole lives inside them. Oh, I recently learned the word. Was ah oh, no. <laughs> As all good sentences start, I recently learned the word uh, <laughs> sonder, I think it is. You know, the, uh, does anyone know this? The idea that it's like insight, everyone has their own internal lives, like everyone you're walking past has that. I think it's a German word. I think it's sonder. I don't know if that's true, but that's, I don't know. I was thinking about that idea that everyone has their own, every planet has its own like internal things happening. Yeah. <laughs> Far away. Oh my gosh. And these planets are like 400 years, light years away from the Earth. Terrifying. Um, celebrations. So my sister's just got back from being away and she found out that she got an A star in her maths that she did a year early because she's so freaking smart. So this is dedicated to, well, to everyone who is celebrating, but specifically to my little sister. Because she's very clever.
Awesome, awesome. Thank you all so much for being here. It's always wicked to have people popping in on a Thursday to a live stream. Uh, if you're joining on Instagram, head over to YouTube. You can join in better and also hello. Uh, and it's just wicked to have you all. And I now you're all here, whoever you are. Uh, if you want to watch me do more things on your screens tomorrow, I'm playing in a BBC prom with Chinake Orchestra. So if you're in the UK, you can watch it on iPlayer 7.30. I'm only in the first 15 minutes, so just watch that bit. <laughs> No, the rest will be good too. Um, but yeah, if you want to see me doing something very opposite to this, but still playing percussion, um, check that out on the old iPlayer. Um, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Sonda, the realization that each person is living a complex, as living as complex a life as your own, and there are no main characters. Incorrect. I'm the main character of my life. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that idea, that idea that everyone is has their own like rich internal world. I'm gonna I'm gonna play that in a minute because that's really interesting. Um, but first, firstly, when everything falls into place, that's so nice. That idea of all things just slotting in and and going well and being good. Especially things where you're like, if I would have planned that, that would not have gone like that. But accidentally, just accidentally nailed it.
everything falls into place let me know if there's anything in your life that's falling into place that would make me really joyful to know about if there is what's going good <laughs> oh this is something that's going well in my life for some reason the word natch it just it really cracked me up like you know it's like uh, i can't oh my god i can't think of an example of when to use it it's like, oh, do you want cheese on your pasta? Natch. No, that's not even, it's funny. It's funnier than that. It's like, oh, it's raining today. Natch. <laughs> like it's short for naturally. Anyway, I don't know why it really tickles me, but every time Becca says it, I genuinely like burst out laughing. Um, so this is about the word natch. Well, it's, it's more than just the word natch, isn't it? It's like when you've got those like long, long inside jokes that's not an inside joke but uh yeah just things that make you laugh <laughs> i think natch makes me laugh because it's the sort of thing that <laughs> i don't know grown-ups say <laughs> i don't know becca if you can put in an example of when you would, might use natch that would be great because i feel like i've done a poor job of explaining it or why i find it funny but it's a mystery why i find it so funny i just do
tried to play a joke on the handpan before. Maybe I have. It's quite it's quite hard. It's quite hard to play a joke on the handpan. <laughs> But it was fun. If you're enjoying the video, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. I mean, I feel like many of you are already. Um, but it is useful for that if you do. And there's ways to donate as well. You can push donate buttons, become a patron from just one pound a month, or donate in various ways. Or you can come back again. That is really, really helpful. And keep watching the videos. Yeah, as if it sounds like yeah. Okay, it's hard to explain. It's just it's just one of those jokes. You just have to be there, folks. But maybe maybe you explained it a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> I did not see this one. Okay, right. Okay, right. Lesbian dance remix. Okay, what are some lesbian dance tunes? Like, what are some lesbian tunes? I feel like I should know this. Feels like I'm failing in a lesbian exam. Lesbian, I can't think of any lesbian dance artists. They must exist. They must exist. They must exist. Okay. Um, right. Well, while I'm thinking of lesbian dance artists, I guess I can just capture the essence of a lesbian dance party, like a lesbian club night. <laughs>
that sound anything like a dance club? I don't know. <laughs> I need to work on making a handpan sound more like a dance club. Also, I need to stop calling it a dance club. I sound like I'm eight years old. A discotheque. <laughs> oh, you're going to need a bigger pan. All right. I'm thinking bass. I'm thinking big sounds. That's like what, Jaws? You're going to need a bigger boat? <laughs> oh, thanks. All right. You've given us a bit of an explanation about a match. Housemate to a, on a set. Pizza? Natch. Yes, of course, that is how you use it. Excellent, excellent work. And thank you all for being here and giving your words. Keep on, keep them coming, folks. It's it's great to hear them. Um, you're going to need a bigger pan. I'm thinking about aspirational playing. Big, big pans. What does it mean to be a hand fan player? I don't know how to ask that. I don't know why I asked that. Big, big pan, big pan. I'm actually going to interrupt myself, which I never normally do, but I just wanted to say they've invented these massive fans. Like, the, I saw a picture of this guy playing it, and it's like this big, and it must sound really deep. That's that's all. So think about that while I'm playing this. <laughs> also, tomorrow I get to play these really tiny maracas. Well, I hope I get to play them, and they're like this big. And so when I I keep pretending that my hands are really giant when I play. <laughs> I keep feeling my hands are giant when I play the tiny maracas, but really, obviously, they're just tiny maracas. Um, that was a lot of thoughts that were in my brain and now they're out loud. Anyway, thinking about big pans and tiny hands.
realized halfway through that, that you were talking about the fact that we were riding a shark earlier. That makes sense. That doesn't make sense. But hopefully that sounded like a bigger pan. And then, um, yeah, I was thinking a lot about having tiny hands or giant hands. Oh, this is so kind. Make a video about my hand pan collection. I'm glad you're enjoying the tutorials, Dominique. And uh, yeah, maybe I will one day. I will. That's a good suggestion. <laughs> um, <laughs> potato, potato. Oh, but oh, <laughs> oh, it's potato, potato. <laughs> I don't know how you would write that out without like accents. Potato, potato. You say potato, and I say potato. You say tomato. <laughs> to that song but i didn't i could not remember the second bit at all you know apart from the you see potato um so maybe i i don't even know who it's by or what it's about i mean it's about potatoes um <laughs> and i just made a video about the durian mode not the fruit the durian so you can if you want to know more about fruits or modes not fruits um you can check out that video um, thanks everyone. That was loads of lovely comments. Uh, thank you so much. I thank you. Um, am I sponsored by Lucy and Yak yet? No, I'm not. And I would love to be. That would be amazing. Should I send them this video and be like, this live stream got over nine views. <laughs> over ten. It's, it's gone up. I'm from I'm from Brighton. They should they should spawn me. 
Um, packing. Okay, I have a theory about packing, right? So packing to go away, it takes as long as you give it. So if you've got two days to pack, it takes you two days to pack. If you've got half an hour to pack, it takes you half an hour to pack. That is my theory of packing, and I believe everyone should subscribe to it. Um, I did once go on tour without any socks. I don't think that's connected. Uh, <laughs> so this is about packing. It's so boring and also like weirdly stressful. <laughs> I saw this great thing, which is like, oh, I'm going on holiday. I wonder if I'll need three French horns or four because you just bring such random rubbish and you don't you use about three things, don't you? Um, have you ever forgotten anything while you went away on holiday? And was it important? Or was it your passport? Just me? Okay, cool. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you've forgotten any good any good travel stories to make Laura's packing a little bit easier. The monotony of packing. 
<laughs> it's kind of hard to write a tune about something that feels boring without trying to make the tune feel boring. I don't know. I don't know. Um, good question. Do I have any hand? So um, most instruments are tuned to 440 hertz. Um, so all of mine are tuned to that, but uh, I'd love to have a hand pan that has this three four three two sound, which is kind of it's a little bit lower and it's a bit more resonant uh, and has a sort of different frequency. So no, none of mine are, but that's a good question. And loads of hand pans are made in that tuning. So I chose to have all of mine at four forty, so they'd all work together and they'd all work with any other instrumentalists or singers that I wanted to work with. Well, I guess singers can sing in four 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 three two, but um, none of mine are. But maybe one day. And finally, it's been such a good one. Thank you all so much, folks, for coming. Do come back, like the video, watch the videos, write the comments, all of those things. And we've got to end with unexpected holidays. I'm going on an unexpected holiday this weekend, actually. Um, so where are you going on unexpected holiday? And I hope it's awesome. And even if you can't get away for a holiday, you can just have a holiday. Sometimes you can just have a half day holiday, chill out day. Heck, you can even work from home that day and decide that you're on holiday. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, hope that you find a bit of holiday time, whatever you do this weekend. everyone have a wonderful week and see you next week i think i should normally i check my schedule before the end of the stream but i forgot to do that so it's a mystery to us all but hopefully see you all next week have a wonderful week thanks for coming everyone